Hello everybody, it is me, Zumad, and I am back with another episode of Astroneer, and I have very, very special things planned for this episode. So, we were just getting this base set up here, but we're moving our base. So, at the end of the previous episode, I said that I was going to go out exploring. Well, I made this super, super long tether line. You would be amazed how far a backpack full of tethers will go. Um, I started noticing that the stars were starting to tilt in the sky as they went this way, and then I realized that I was going towards the pole, so then I decided that I was just going to go towards the pole, so I've extended the tethers all the way to the pole of the planet, and it is absolutely breathtaking. It's absolutely beautiful up there. It's super, super cool looking, and also the sun never sets, so there's always sunlight, well, at least on, like, one like kind of like horizon area there so i'm actually going to build my base there i've decided it's absolutely beautiful it's super super cool looking so um of course i don't have a um i don't have a vehicle bay yet and if i take a look here um so so that costs rubber but i'm not sure how you get that and even then um, let me take a look here. Let me find a vehicle bay. I believe that is somewhere. There it is. Oh, it only costs compound, so... Um, I may end up later on in the future. I'm going to definitely get, like, rovers and stuff like that. But right now, I don't really... Um, right now, um... Well, there isn't really a point in getting a rover. I was planning on getting a rover to transport my stuff there, but then I realized that everything is already on platforms and stuff, and there isn't actually much of a point uh, to get a rover, you know? So, I'm going to carry this down. I'm going to get some materials that I will need to take with me. So, let's see here. I'm going to, um... So, I'm going to sort everything between what I need and what I don't. Um, I feel like resin would be helpful... So, we're just gonna take some. Um, I don't see how graphite will be useful. I'm not sure what titanite is for. So, later on I will end up, um, I guess coming back for all this stuff at, on the other day. But, I feel like that's just everything we're gonna need right now. Okay, guys. So, I was just now at that hole, and I sorted through it, and... All of the, I guess, like, the more rare materials in there, um, I'm going to leave behind. I'm not, I'm not really thinking I'm gonna be using those anytime soon, but later on I will go on a trip back here to grab another platform and a bunch of those materials. But, yeah, we're going to begin our journey to the pull of the planet. So, I'm going to, um, let me unhook everything first. Um, I'm going to grab this, um this platform here with our fabricator just because that's what we need to make platforms so figured that would be best to take with us but there is also some compound over here i have three more storage slots and i figured some compound would be helpful for setting out tethers and making platforms so i'm just going to gather up the last bit i can get i think this is it here yep um let me take a look Yep, everything is full. Now, I don't actually really see a point in bringing both canisters, but... You know what? I'll bring both soil canisters anyway. So, I'm going to grab this platform, and now we're going to carry it all the way down to the pole. And, of course, I'm not going to include the entire hike to the pole... But I guess if you do want to see the entire path, um, I'll put a link in the description to an unlisted video of me just taking this super, super long hike to the pole of the planet. Okay, guys, so I just went on a really long hike up to the pole carrying that platform with me. Are you guys ready for this? This is absolutely amazing. Look at this view. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is so cool. I absolutely love it up here. And I've actually, um, one thing you may notice on the platform, I've actually, um, um, I found some debris that 
whoops, that's not what I wanted, that had a small wind turbine that I figured might be useful. And then I realized that I could put two resin on this, and then that freed up two slots. And then I dug some more resin that was right there next to it. So I was able to um, get two more resin. But whenever I came here off camera, I also created this tether line that runs all the way up to the top of the mountain. And you guys have got to see this. This is like, look, there are like planets on the horizon and stuff. The planets are pretty much always visible. But whenever you go to the top of this mountain, you can, you're pretty much over the clouds or you're like level with them. I can't quite remember, but pretty much the entire sky is visible and it's absolutely beautiful. It's amazing. So we're already getting pretty high. You can see the curvature of the planet at this point. There's also a lot of space debris I haven't gotten to look at. That's on the other side of the mountain. But I'm thinking if we were to, I guess, um, I don't know. I'm thinking of perhaps building like a sky base kind of like just a base that's kind of like off to the side of the mountain because I kind of want to leave this mountain like kind of preserved as it is because it's so pretty. This is the most incredible view I've ever seen in Astroneer. In the entire time I've played it, I've had Astroneer for about a year now, and this is the most amazing thing I've seen in it. This is so cool. So I'm thinking maybe like out there maybe like look there's the moon it's so cool this looks so amazing and um thinking maybe like out there we could just build like a floating platform and put my base there and maybe have like i'm not sure yet some way to connect it to the ground maybe it could be connected to the ground like through like a shuttle or something with like the spacecraft that would be pretty cool because then it could just float by itself so, um, but that would cost a lot of hydrazine to go up there and come down, so that is something I will have to take into account, but we are totally building it up here. And one plus is if we build it really high, um, the sun will always be shining, so we can definitely have some solar panels going 24-7, which is super nice, which is also really convenient because right now, because I don't have, like, that habitat that you start out with, I don't have, um, I don't have guaranteed power right now, and I don't have batteries or anything, so whenever those solar panels on that platform I carried with me stop receiving power, that's it. You know, I don't have any power. Which, speaking of that platform and printing things, we should get to work building our new base. Alright, so now we're going to get back to the platform, and actually the first thing that we are going to need to print right now is the is that platform that it has right there so oh we don't have power well the sun is just being visible there oh yikes it's not quite coming out enough so we're gonna grab this platform and we're going to move it over here where the sun is shining until those panels start picking up the sunlight and then we'll have solar power so right about here should start working. So, if we, um, once we, like, build our base high up in the sky, though, we will definitely have plenty of power all the time to... There we go. We got power. Okay. While we still have power. Um, there we go. We're going to do this. No, I didn't mean to do that. No, let me, let me, let me do the thing. Why wouldn't it let me... It won't let me click on it. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're printing. Nice, and we have sunlight, which should hopefully last a little bit. So, let me take a look at this. We're going to need a smelter all over again. So, it costs one compound and two resin, which I have right now. So, we will get that very, very soon. Pretty much as soon as this platform is done, we can get our smelter. And then after that... Um, yeah, we're gonna have to get a new, a new soil centrifuge, so, um, which is two compound and one aluminum. I did carry one aluminum with me, so we can get that right away, too. So you get this platform printing ASAP. Nice. So now we can unpack it. Alright, and let's have 
Let's have the platform right here. I'm just gonna line it up like this for now. Plug it in. And now, if I examine this, let's get a... Ooh, a research chamber is important, but let's get the smelting furnace first. Just so that we can... Oh no, we lost solar power. Ooh, let's see if this has solar power still. I'm afraid not. You know, while we have this platform, I should also attach this. So that if it ever gets windy, we can get power. But yeah, that does appear to be an issue. But once we start building up high, because you can see it's the curvature of the planet that's the issue. That's like getting in the way of the sunlight. Because you can see right here, there's a shadow up on the mountain. So if like we're up high there or higher up than the mountain, we're going to be in like that sunlight area. We won't be in the shade. So I guess we just need to wait for the sun to rise again. All right, so I think I just missed recording it, but there is a storm blowing through right now. And this wind generator was actually uh, making the smelter. You can see it's actually printed a little more um, while the storm has been blowing by. So it looks like the storm is almost over. Yeah, the storm is cleared out now. And I'm really happy I grabbed that wind turbine. It is working. It was working during the storm. So, that does show us we're at least doing something right around here. Okay, guys. A really, really good idea I just got. The sun is now behind the mountain. Well, it's almost behind the mountain, so we're gonna be in the shade for a while. I just got a super good idea. So, these panels, these solar panels, whenever you drop them on the ground, they form their own little platform, I just realized. So, if I were to grab this and can I rotate it? Okay, I can. I can put that there. Then I can grab this solar panel and put it up. Oh, that doesn't work. Well, here, if I grab my, um, if I use my, I'm not sure what to call it, the terrain tool, and I build a pillar, you guys can probably already see where this is going. Oh, I don't want to flatten. I just want to make it get taller, like that. And then we grab a solar panel that will let me grab it. And then we just need to put it on top. And then we need to put a wire reaching down, which looks like we can't get it long enough. But if we were to disconnect this and perhaps like place it on this side here and then grab a cable plug from right let me see where it is there it is i can plug it in there then i can unplug this platform move it here then grab this platform and pop it like around here or something and put it over here wait oh that was weird it just undid the printing that's weird then I can take this and plug it in, and now we have kind of like a miniature solar panel tower. This should help out a bit, and actually, this is up higher. Might catch the wind better too, so might as well. We have we have our own little tower now of power supply. It's not it's not very effective, but I mean it's power supply. So this will probably give us just maybe like I don't even know how much longer we will have power, but because it is higher. Um, the sun will hit it sooner when it starts emerging from the horizon, so that is a plus. Okay, everybody, so it looks like we're just starting to get some sun. So it looks like our tower is working a little bit. So while we have sun, we're going to print our smelter. All right. So it is going really fast now, which is really nice. Now, one issue I've just noticed is it does appear that the... Yeah, we don't get a lot of sunlight for very long. Like, the shadow will soon go back up that tower and we'll lose power. Okay, so it just finished. I couldn't find what I was looking for in the backpack. I was having a really hard time with it. So, we're going to unpack this. Just like that. And now we have a furnace. But, if I take a look at this. You know, while I'm here, I should probably start um, printing a soil centrifuge. Now wait, do I have the aluminum that's needed? 
Oh, that's titanium. Oopsie. I grabbed titanium instead of aluminum. So we won't be getting a centrifuge right now, but we might as well get another large platform for the future while we still have sunlight. Okay, so they're only 500 bytes, so we will be getting those. Oh, I never went into that. So the reason I want to get those is so I'm probably in the future going to have like some underground cables running from the base, I'm thinking, that could then stretch out to like the edges of this horizon so like over there on top of the mountain and then maybe like over here on top of that mountain and so on so that we will always be catching sunlight and it does require copper so that may be something that i will have to work on off camera because i'm afraid this is where i'm going to have to conclude this episode um i am about to hit my 15 minute mark with my recording so, I, ho I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys found this area really pretty. Um, if you didn't, well, uh, that's too bad because I'm going to be building my base here for the rest of the season. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!